Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I don't know, just getting emotional. Really? We haven't even started yet. I know, but just because this is your birthday and it's the last birthday on the show? Yeah. I know. Well, I know Jen always gets emotional. I know. We're she's, both. You're like, both very emotional people. Yeah. But but thanks for being here on my birthday show. I'm so show. excited. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Ooh. No, it's very sweet of you to be here. And um, we're both wearing navy. Um, yes, we are. Yeah. You're wearing less of it. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Um, what do you do for your birthdays? Because you and Coco are two days apart, so it must be a big extravaganza. Well, Coco does not like the fact that we're so close, and and uh, she gets really upset. And, um, well, one year, her birthday was on a Saturday and mine was on a Monday. It's, I obviously had to celebrate on Saturday because, you know, that's the night you party. Right, so, right. <laughs> didn't go over well. Yeah, she does not like that. Well, but it's not fair. I mean, that's just what it is, it's right? It's just what it is. Yeah. But now I, I actually pulled out the stops. I knew videos and get all of her friends. Oh, there she is. Um, get all of her friends to do, like, say nice things about her and... Is a birthday a big thing for both of you, or does she care more about a birthday than you do? I think she cares more. I used to be obsessed with birthdays, but now there's a point where you don't want to think about them. Right. And uh, yeah. so now she's more obsessed than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's, a, I cannot believe, and you know, I follow you on Instagram, and I, I watch You started her. my Instagram. Yeah. I kind of did start your now, Instagram. Not, no. Well, I, I guess you I did. You literally did. Yeah. yeah. That's right, on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> Look at all the yes, things I've you. done through the years. <laughs> so many. No one would know who you are. Um, <laughs> so Coco is a senior now, which is crazy, because she wasn't born when I started this show. And now she's a senior. I know. And she's going to go off to college, I assume. Is she going to go locally or going to no, go... No, no. She's going to go as far away from L.A. as she can get. But y'all seem so close. Oh, we're so close, but she just can't wait to go away and live on her own. And uh, it's, it's sad. Well, for you. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Will you be sad? I mean, is it going to be... A, a, you, I mean, you have a very full life, and... You know, there are people that get that emptiness syndrome, and mm -hmm. my sister literally went crazy when her second moved out, and uh, Johnny's sister cried, like, the year before it even <laughs> happened. I'm like, it's a little soon. Yeah. I haven't even thought about it, and I think she's doing such a good job at prepping for me for this. She never leaves her room. She's never home. I mean, and if she is, literally door shut, and I, I don't know what she's doing back there, but I, I don't think I'm going to be as affected. Cut to, I'm just like, Ooh. Yeah. Well, that does help that she's not around or that she, when she is, she closes the door. So she's yeah. smart. Yeah. She's the parent in this relationship, it seems. Sometimes. Yeah. And uh, you let me stay at your uh, place. for I, yeah. Last season, I stayed at your house the whole time, and it was very, very kind of you. Um, I appreciated it. I bought you a going away gift. Yes, you did. Um, and I'm sad you're not there. I really am. That was fun. We also uh, sometimes would FaceTime. Yes. And play the piano for each other. Yes, I was, because I, because you're very good at it. How long have you been playing? Not, I've been playing like two years? more during COVID, but I would say, uh, yeah, I'd say about two years. You learned over two years. If you follow her on Instagram, she's really good and she literally learned how to play and you're now playing with amazing people. But, I do want to say she did get me a toilet as a going away thing, and it is the nicest toilet ever. I mean, you know when you're like, oh, I don't want to go to the bathroom. You want to go. It warms your butt. It's so nice. Yeah. It's well. It's one of the toilets that the it is as you approach it. The the oh yeah. Lift, no the thing. lid There's... lifts, and then you sit on it, and it's warm. And in the middle of the night, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And then you just walk away from it, and it flushes oh, for you. Oh, that's right. I, I couldn't believe it. But you had one that just did half of it, where the lid lifts, and you know, then you just <laughs> walk away, assuming it's going to flush. Then you find later on, <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you? Come you? back. You and did there half it is. the job. Um, <laughs> And plus, it was cold, so yeah, so you have a nice... Uh, yes, a nice so thank I'm, you so much. Yeah. I'm glad you want to go now. Um, <laughs> but wait, so, so she's playing piano with people like uh, Brandi Carlisle and Elton John, and, I mean, you're, you're really good. I mean, can you believe? Ed Sheeran. I mean, that's amazing. That was the biggest thrill of my life. I really think so. I mean, so Ed is a friend of mine who introduced me to Johnny, and he's just, you know, he's a great guy. 
And he said to me, is it okay if I, oh, he stays with me every time he comes to LA. And he said, is it okay if I invite Elton John over? What are you going to say to that? I was like, what? Oh, oh my God, yes. And he said, you know, it might be fun if we do an Instagram post where we sing Tony, Dan I mean, Tiny Dancer, the Tony Dancer thing for Lisa Kudrow. And I was like, I don't know how to play that. And so I called my piano teacher and he came over and we, within 30 minutes, I had to learn it because Elton was coming. And Joel was leaving as Elton walked in. He was completely game for the post. And there he is holding my arm, a little like tight, because I was like, I have to play. And I was so, <laughs> and I was so nervous. And then I got to the part where it kind of goes up the keys and I thought, I'm gonna mess this up. So I just went, I'm sorry, I have to stop. And um, he just was so cute and I loved it. That was just a thrill. That's incredible. I mean, to, to be able to play and to learn that fast before Elton John comes over. That's oh. incredible. All right, we have to take a break. More with Courtney after this. We are back with the marvelous Courtney Cox, and uh, you have a, uh, a home line that just is coming out today that I just learned about this morning, and it's called Home Court, but I just have to say that uh, I gave you my skincare line. Uh, it was sent to you before it came out. Um, you posted. I appreciate it. You love the skincare line. I, I, I do love it. Love it. Thank you. Um, it's called Kind Science. Um, uh, <laughs> I have not received anything from you for I, um, well, it's my birthday. I know, and that's terrible. But I did bring you a present. I don't know where it is. Does someone can someone bring it out? I brought it. Oh. Well, now you've un you've outdone me now because I didn't send flowers with mine. And you so, know what? This is your florist too. Yeah, I found out. They're they're great, aren't they? Um, l tell us about this because I love uh, actually someone. Uh, gave me the uh, hand cream this morning, and I know there's different scents, which I love the idea mm -hmm. of that, but tell everybody about Home Court. Okay, so Home Court is something that I, uh, well, you know what, during COVID, the smell of Clorox was so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But then you kind of get sick of it, so I thought, why not do, why not make something, because we take such good care of ourselves, so why not take care of our home? And uh, these are beauty products for the house, uh, for the home. And um, it's all natural, except for it really works, because I do care about, you know, things that work. Um, and also, it's, I think the bottles are beautiful. I mean, this is a counter spray. This is a, a dish soap. And, you know, I like to keep my dish soap out. I don't want to have to go into the cabinet every time. And I just think these bottles are beautiful, because I love design. I love that idea that you would leave that out on the counter, yeah. and because it's handy that way for the dish soap. Because I also reach under there yeah. to keep the dish soap, but no longer, because I'm going to have yours. That's what right. is this? How do you pronounce it? What is the name of this uh, fragrance? Um, Something that's Neroli Leaf. It, this smells amazing, mm. Neroli Leaf. Yeah, and here's the candle, uh, and uh, this is my signature scent. It's called CC, and it's my uh, it's my perfume that I made, and we have an incredible perfumery. But, but it's all natural. Everything's wow. recyclable. It's all um, we use upcycled. I don't. I just said that. I don't even know what that really means. But it's upcycled. <laughs> um, like we use the whole rose, not just. Yeah. The, it's upcycled. Yeah, it's upcycled. Yeah, it's, yeah. I don't know. Someone look that up. I don't know that that's a word. <laughs> um, this is fantastic. Home court. So so Thanks. that came out today. Yep. Okay. Congratulations on Thank that. You. And you have a new show called Shining Veil. Is that what it's called? Yes. Shining Veil comes out on March the 6th. It is... Uh, I saw some of it. It's really you did? good. Oh, good. I, I love it. it. It's the best part. I mean, I'm obviously friends, but the best part I've ever played. I got, it really stretched me in ways that I have not done before and I worked harder than I ever have. It, well, it's, you're really good in it and I Thank love, I, it's just a kind of a mix of lots of things, yeah, which, which I really like. A comedy slash like thriller, yeah, it's yeah. weird, it's, but, it, but it's with Greg Kinnera, Kinnera, Kinnera? Kinnera, um, yeah. <laughs> like suddenly you're Catherine Hepburn, okay. <laughs> um, Greg Kinnear and Mira Servino and we just have a great cast, the kids are great. Yeah, and you were on the lot here because I was wondering what you were doing, what you were shooting here, and it was that when mm -hmm. you were on the lot and you were giving uh, people tours and you were working the gate and you were doing a lot of fun things. Well, you know, you got to do stuff for the gram, and yes, I did uh, on my downtime. I drove that, and you know what? You don't realize how long I I'm so used to driving a shorter car. Are you? Yeah, <laughs> your car is not that long. <laughs> I um I like almost hit the back or like a, some pillar at Warner Brothers, but didn't even think about it. it wasn't even I had no idea you had to worry about the back of it. <laughs> Those bus drivers really have to do that big turn. Yeah. I didn't. I just went. Well, I was worried about yeah. the front. So. No. <laughs> 
No, it yeah, wasn't clearly good. you have to work and worry about the back of it. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Um, hey, listen, I love you. Thank you for being here. Courtney's new home line is available now on homecourt.co. And today you're all going home with a $250 home cart gift card. <laughs> oh, thank you.